Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Rai and this is Rai's Reading Corner and today we're gonna to be going over my TBR for the Autumn Equinox for the Magical Readathon. Again, hello, I'm Rai and this is Rai's Reading Corner. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, if you've not hit the subscribe button, please do so, it's super easy and it really helps my channel grow. So as you can tell by my thumbnail and my little introduction, Today I'm going over my TBR for the next round of Magical Readathon. So if you are not familiar with the Magical Readathon, which is hosted and created by the amazing G from Book Rose, it's this amazing world that she has created that we have been dived into and I am absolutely loving it. G was actually my first booktuber that I ever watched, so I love just supporting her in her readathon. So this is I think the third next, like the third big round that we've done for this. We are at Aurelium and we are starting the Autumn Equinox and we have some things that we we need to do for our calling. So the last round we picked our calling and completed prompts so that we could get our calling and I am a dream walker. So I am really excited about this calling and I'm excited to work towards getting my certain grades that I need in my classes. So for each of my classes I either need an O which is it means that you need to get an ordinary, a Q which means qualified, and D which means distinguished. Now kind of you have to read some of these books in certain orders depending on what you need to get for each class. So I'm going to not explain it as well as G does, but so definitely go check out her video below. For example, if I need to get a qualified in one of my classes, I need to complete the ordinary prompt first and then I have to complete my qualified prompt next. So I kind of have to go in a certain order. So I really had to be methodical about which books I was placing where. So overall, I have a total of eight books that I need to read for Magical Readathon, which is not terrible compared to some people's, but it is still a lot. And like I said, you have to be really picky on which order you're putting them in. Let's get started. So my first question course is Basics and Poisons and I need an O for this one and this needs to be a book that has been on someone's like worst book list. So I don't know if this is exactly who was worst book list this is but I know it's on somebody's. If you look on Goodreads people score it a one and the only reason I'm reading this is because a couple of my friends like Sarah and Michelle and Kimmy are hosting this read along and it's Twilight. So I'm gonna go back to like years ago and I'm gonna read Twilight and I'm really nervous because I hated the new one that was released whatever moon whatever it was called I can't think of the name of it but I'm gonna be rereading Twilight for the first time since I've been a kid so I'm really nervous but I'm kind of excited to dive back into this world and there's like a discord group I will link Michelle's video down below go check it out if you're interested we're gonna be reading Twilight so that's a chunky one I don't even have the book it's actually downstairs in my basement and like my other shelves that I keep a couple of my books but that I don't like want to like display anymore but want to hold on to so I need to go get that down the basement at some point so my next one class I'm going to be working on is my art of illusions and for this one I need a qualified so if you see me losing down it's because I have all my information down on my computer so I need to complete the O one which is blue face and I need to read a book that I know really nothing about so for this one I picked this book strictly because the author wrote another romance book that I really liked before and so I automatically picked it up. I didn't even know what the book was about this is dream on by Andy Hockman this is a book the same author that wrote shift that I absolutely love that book and I don't know anything about this one I saw that she was had written a new book and I didn't realize it and so I picked on this one I picked up on this one so I'm really excited it's not too long it's a romance so I should be able to fly through it quickly which I'll need to do because I have to complete this one before I complete my next prompt which is I need for my cues is minor illusions I need to read a book under 300 pages so this worked out really well because I had a prompt on my TBR Jenga for a book under 300 pages as well as this is a book for the unofficial official book club and it's Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher so I might have depending on when we decide to read this on the lives I might have to be one of the first books I read in the month is Dream On which I am okay with this this will be my first T. Kingfisher book I'm really excited it's kind of like a fantasy I think with a little bit of horror elements maybe it's like a retelling and it is really short it is way under 300 pages I don't even know if it's 250 so I'm excited to read this one and if you're interested in reading this along with us the discord for the late night crew is posted always down below so this will be covering that prom so I'm pretty confident on these three books so far that I'll be reading. So my next class is for spells and incantation and I need to get an O and so for my O the prompt was spells or recolors so I needed to do a random color generator whatever color I got it had to be the prominent on the book. So for this one I got this color called just pure orange and I was hesitant at first but look at this the whole entire back and the side of the book is orange and it's as seen on TV by Meredith Shower. so technically the front cover is not orange but the entire side and back are pure orange so I'm going to count this. Also on my 
my TBR Django, which is perfect. This is a rom-com. I don't know, literally know nothing about this. I originally was going to use it for that prompt. I only bought it because it said that it is full of Gilmore Girls vibes, which is my favorite thing besides reading, but it definitely works for that pure orange prompt. So my next class is Sonics and Divinations. I know I think I pronounced prompts the first word, so I apologize. These were the prompts that I really struggled with. So for my first, I need to complete all my way to my Distinguished, which is three prompts for this class. And so the first one is Time Travel 1. I need to read a book featuring time travel. It's not a prompt that I love to read in books, so this was a really struggle for me. If you have any other suggestions, comment down below. I, so I talked to my friend Mel and talked about it in my Patreon. And so the one came up with is going to be The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. And I'm going to do this one because it has the word the in it, and that's really easy to go fitting for my next prompt. But I don't really know anything about this, just that it has time travel. I think it's kind of like a mystery aspect where someone keeps getting killed over and over again. I don't know. It just was recommended to me a couple of times. So we're just going to go with it. I hope I like it. But if you have any other time travel books that you think I'll like that are good books for people that don't tend to gravitate toward time travels, let me know down in the comments below. So we're going to be trying this one. But then my second prompt for my qualifier is time travel too. I need to read a book that has the same word as the previous book that I read. So for me, logically thinking, I was thinking that this will be the book that I will read after the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. So for this one, I'm going to read The Counselors by Jessica Goodman. So this was a book that I wanted that was on my summer TBR. It is a YA thriller, but I feel like if I don't read this in August, I won't read it until next summer because it gives me summer vibe instead of summer camp. So I have high hopes that I will like it. So, but again, this one, I could definitely subject to change because if I do do it this way, it's the the, which is pretty easy. It's in a lot of books. So that's why I kind of did that. But I, like I said, if I don't get to it now, I'm afraid I'm not going to get to that until next summer. And I don't really want to do that. So that's tentatively for that prompt. So for my distinguished, it's introduction to palmistry. And for this one, I have to read a book that's a second hand book, which is really easy for me. I shop a lot on Pango books. And so for this, I'm going to read The Stopover by T.L. Swan. This is a Romeo and Smutty. I believe it's also on KU. This is also the buddy read for my roses here for my Patreon. So that being said, I know this is super, it's a long one. It's 400 and something pages. And if I'm not moving through these prompts fast enough, I will have to bump this book up because I'm going to need to have this read by a certain date and time. So if that is the case, I will just pick another book that I've gotten from Pango Books to substitute for this prompt. But as of right now, I'm going to try and attempt to read this up over. My last class is Allure. And for this one, I just need an ordinary and I need to read a book with my country's flags on it. So this may be a little bit of a stretch, but I want to get this book in there because for my Patreon, we are going to binge read in the month, the Inheritance Games and this one and the, the uh, Hawthorne Legacy. And then we're going to read the third one together. Hopefully whoever wants to participate. So this is a little bit of a stretch, but we have blue, we have red right there, and we have white. Okay. The U.S. flag is red, white, and blue. I mean, we're going to count it. I think it doesn't say how much we need to have of those colors, but we're going to count it for this one. This is the sequel to the Inheritance Games, which is, is on my TBR for the month. So I obviously said we'll have to read that one before reading this one, but I think they'll be okay. I don't think it will be too much of a long read. So these are the books I'm planning to tentatively read for the readathon. I'm really excited to dive back into Aurelion. So if you're participating in Magical Readathon, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you have a good time travel book, let me know because maybe I'll switch that one up if you find that there's something else that I should be reading. So if you want to do this crazy and chaotic with me please make sure you press the subscribe button if you're my friend on any of my other social media platforms i'm on tiktok Instagram, and twitter and like i said i do have my own patreon and that's linked down below so stay kind loves and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>